Hello. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I'm down here in the olive grove. The light and the, the birds at this time is fantastic. The mornings and the evenings, it's when it's most magical down here. I wanted to post a video to answer some questions I've been getting lately. I've had comments and emails asking me about the difference between these two books, Moon Over Martinboro and An Olive Grove at the Edge of the World. They're both the same book. These are the same book. Let me tell you the story. You know, I had a blog. I turned that blog into a book. It got published in New Zealand by one of the major publishing houses. And this Moon Over Martinboro is the internet, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moon of a is the New Zealand edition of my olive farming memoir. And this is the, the kind of first edition uh, that came out in 2013. It made the bestseller list here in New Zealand. It uh, was on the bestseller list for six weeks and rose to number four. And uh, it got a lot of really great press and whatnot. And uh, um, coverage on Radio New Zealand and um, things like that. And um, Breakfast TV in New Zealand covered it. You can see that video clip on, on my YouTube channel. Uh, time went on. I wanted to, uh, you know, play with self-publishing. And in 2018, I self-published the international edition of the book, of the same book, essentially. And the title is An Olive Grove at the Edge of the World. Same book. The reason why the cover and the title are different are because I tested both the cover design and the title with overseas audiences on a, on a website that allows you to do sort of market research. And this title and cover design tested much, much better with overseas audiences. Martin Bro is a, it's a, it's a wine producing area. And so it has a certain nuance to New Zealanders. When, when, you, when you hear Moon Over Martin Bro, um, that nuance is sort of lost on folks overseas who don't know Martin Bro. So an olive grove at the edge of the world just people basically voted for this title and said that's I would I would buy that book. Uh, it's almost exactly the same as the 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 New Zealand edition except that I edited it for an overseas audience and my good friend Susan Varga helped me with a what I'd call a developmental edit kind of a story level edit uh, for pacing and as a result of her feedback I added one chapter sort of a quiet a nature focused chapter towards the end of the book between some humorous um, chapters uh, just to get the kind of rhythm and pacing of the book right. So uh, Susan is an amazing author. She's an Australian woman who is a Holocaust survivor, Hungarian born, now lives in Australia. And uh, she's written uh, quite a few good books. One in particular is called Hetty and Me, which is about her and her mother and um, surviving the Holocaust. Uh, another incredible book of hers is a book of poetry um, called Rupture, which is about uh, her um, having a stroke and her uh, path on, uh, to recover from that stroke. So I recommend you check her out. She's amazing. And I'm incredibly grateful to her for her help in making the international edition of my olive farming memoir because she helped me make the story even better. So um, of the two, I would say this is... Uh, Let's call it the director's cut. Um, this is the uh, definitive version. This is the one that um, has had the most love, An Olive Grove at the Edge of the World. Um, and it's available on Amazon. The ebook's exclusive to Amazon, but the paperback is available everywhere um, uh, online. Uh, Barnes & Noble website um, has the paperback, Walmart, a bunch of others. Um, because I, have a, I use an international distribution company that uh, does print-on-demand. In a bunch of places but anyway that's the gist new zealand edition international edition this is the definitive edition the 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 story of our first four years on this little plot of property and uh that's to clear that up i'm gonna leave you with the grove for a little bit because it's so beautiful down here and uh I want to share it, so just listen, look at the light. It's fantastic, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Take care.